And hey folks, another warm day across the valley today with your temperatures climbing back over 100. In the western part of the valley, upper 90s every place else. And the beach was cooler with a high of 89. It's back down to 84 in Port Isabel and Brownsville. Same thing, Harlingen, Raymondville, Westlaco. Then a little warmer when you get off to the west tonight, but about where we're supposed to be for the middle part of August. Overnight temperatures have trouble getting below 80. We may be 77, 78 in a few places, but for the most part, low 80s across the region. And then tomorrow, back up over 100 for most of Hidalgo and Star Counties and really close to 100 for most of Willisey and Cameron, the exception of the beach, where it'll be in the upper 80s again. The normal high for this time of year, the 30-year average is 97, and we're going 100, 101, 101, so we should be well above that norm, but probably not approaching the records. Satellite, pretty quiet today. So a couple of sea breeze showers north of the valley, but nothing overhead. And future track says patchy clouds overnight, but tomorrow partly to mostly sunny. Tries to bring the sea breeze to life. Probably not going to happen. There's not enough moisture to work with. Down here at the low levels are really humid, but you get above three or 4,000 feet and it's really dry. I think same thing Wednesday. It tries, but will probably fail. So if there's a shower the next seven days, that's all we're going to see. For the most part, it's a dry forecast all the way through, certainly the next three days and probably the next seven before we really see any chance of anything. In Texas tonight, there is a front to the north of us. Can't quite make it out here. There it is. You can kind of see it. That front's going to continue to just sit there for another day or so, then lift back to the north as that big ridge in the upper atmosphere takes over and really digs into Texas. And when that happens, it's going to heat up across the state. You know, we're already hot. The rest of the state had a mild day, but it's going to warm up even in North Texas over the next couple of days. And that high going to hang out over Texas, maybe push back to the west a little bit, but ultimately it's going to take control of our weather and kind of hang on to it for the next several days with, again, no big chance of rain at all. The door could open to the tropics eventually, but right now there's nothing in the tropics. The Atlantic side, the Gulf, the Caribbean, Atlantic Ocean, all very quiet. Pacific, different story. We showed you this before the break. There is major hurricane Lane. Look at the eye, how well developed that is tonight. Lane now has winds of 130 miles per hour, moving to the west at about 12. And look at this cone of uncertainty. It includes uh, much of Hawaii. So they're really keeping a close eye on this as it's eventually expected to weaken as it turns off to the west. But look how that just kind of parallels the islands and that code of uncertainty suggests that everybody on those islands needs to be on the lookout as Lane kind of sideswipes them. Hopefully it doesn't get any closer than that. High temperature at the island about 89. No risk of tropical activity there anytime soon. Southeast winds at 10 to 20 knots. Our low tonight 79 degrees, mainly clear and warm. South southeasterly winds. Then tomorrow we're back up to about 100, mainly sunny skies. The winds continue out of the south southeast at about 10 to 18. So uh, there you have it. That's your report.